Ooh. There we go. Swimming towards me. Stay on. Oh, yeah. Choke that popper. Hey everybody, what's going on? Welcome back to another episode of In-Depth Angling. Today I'm out here on my kayak on Lake of the Ozarks. Going to be targeting some bass up here today. Uh, largemouth and spotted primarily on uh, the shallow areas where they're spawning. Uh, we're now in the month of May and these bass have been up shallow here for a little while now, but they're really starting to guard beds. Uh, a lot of the male bass are still guarding those fry that have just hatched or there could be still some pre-spawn and post-spawn fish kind of moving in and out of the areas as well. But uh, this last week, we've seen a lot of fish push up to go spawn, and there's still quite a few up there. So uh, primarily, that's what we're gonna go after today. Let's go see what we can catch. Conditions out here today are perfect. We got overcast skies mixed in with partly cloudy skies off and on until we are supposed to get some thunderstorms. Again, it's rained the last few nights, and uh, we've had lots and lots of rain the last three days, and it's brought the lake level up a little bit. We'll hit a topwater popper up there. Ooh, didn't get it. That time he did. It's not a bad bass either. Sweet. Caught him. Well, that took no time at all. First cast there. That's just one of the main things when I'm fishing this uh, this spring bite like this when they're up shallow. You're just trying to get these fog riders to uh, go up and get mad at whatever you're throwing on there. And topwater popper just sits right over that bed so perfectly and makes a lot of commotion. They can't stand it. Can't pick it up either like another bat's bed bait that you might be able to throw like a Texas rig or a shaky hit or something like that. They got to take it off. But not a bad way to start out right there. It's about a 16 incher. I'm going to get him back in the water. Go back and do their thing. That was my first cast up here. I think there's probably going to be a couple more. Holy crap. <laughs> One pop. <laughs> that was awesome. That's a different fish too. Looks out of that guy. It's another quality fish right there. Probably closer to 16, 17 inches just like that last one. But it is a different fish. It doesn't have the same hook mark on him that I put in last time. So. That took a one pop up there and just bam, hit it. So this bite's amazing already. I can tell I'm gonna have a good day. There we go. Ooh, good one. Swimming towards me. Stay on. Oh, yeah. Choke that popper. Oh, my gosh. Come here. Oh. About jumping the boat at me. <laughs> Best one of the day so far right there. Oh man, he got it in the gills. Okay. Looks like she's probably gonna make it right there. I don't know how well y'all can see it, but there are little light spots over here in the gravel along the bottom, like that one right there. Those are all the little bluegill beds and they're up here spawning as well, kind of at the same time the bass are. So they're really right up there uh, in the same area and bass are trying to fend them off. Bluegill are protecting their little spots too. So uh, bluegill pattern is definitely the way to go. Those poppers that I'm using like today have got a good action that kind of resembles a fish uh, like a bluegill coming up and taking that bug off the surface or shad uh, when they're popping on the surface as well. And they're up and spawning on the lake net right now too. So. A lot of bait up here for these fish to eat and uh, a lot of things for these bass that need to be uh, chased off their beds. All right, 
right guys, just crossed the channel over there and uh, heading back in here to fish some docks again on another cove. Uh, this cove is much bigger than the last one I was just in. So uh, should be able to get into quite a few numbers in here and hopefully some bigger bass. There we go. Get over that cable. That's a spot. And that was a spot. <laughs> Shook that right there at the boat. There he is. Little bass on the shaky head. Fish has yet to drop its eggs. It's all kinds of full right there in that belly. It's a little fish though. Another spotted bass. Getting back in. Came right off of those supports right there for that walkway. Got him. Stay on there. There you go. It's not a giant fish by any means, but they're a large mouth. Another 12 inch right there on the popper. We get him back in. This looks like a good hole. Oh my gosh, that was cool. As soon as it hit the water. Oh, he's hooked only in the side blade. There we go. Got him. Wow. That's awesome. That fish ate as soon as it hit the water. Like, as soon as it hit the water. That was awesome. I'm going to quick measurement on him. Chill, Chill out for a second. That's another 15 inch right there. Just barely a keeper, but another quality fish. Ooh. Stay on there. That's a good one. Please stay on there. Not as good as I thought, but he's still pretty good. Sweet. It's a cool fish right there. Took that popper down right over there by that tree. As soon as it hit, did a few pops and bam, he had it. So cool colors on that guy too. Really dark green. Um, Gonna get a quick measurement on him because I think he's probably around that 16 mark again. Let's see. Yeah, he's right at 16 inches long. So again, just over keeper size. Catching a lot of them that size today. I'm gonna get him back in the water. She's ready to go. I'm probably pretty close to it. Got him. <laughs> he's gonna jump three times, four times, and he's in the boat. Awesome. A little bit of an acrobatic fish right there. Get him back in as well. Thanks for playing. And he jumps off. <laughs> it's always fun to watch a bass jump while you're reeling it in, but it's also kind of scary because you know there's a good chance he's gonna shake the hook. You can see some beds right here. I don't know if they're bass or from bluegill, but they look kind of big. Old school bluegill chasing it must be bluegill beds there was a little bass right there you can see him he's not big there we go got the second time got him corner of his face right there that's a small one it's probably the tiniest bass of the day right there go ahead and get him back in he missed that thing the first time Ooh. that was an aggressive one 
stay on there. He's kind of hooked on. That's another nice, healthy fish right there out of the Lake of the Ozarks. And uh, again, up shallow, lost that one right over there. That one came off of this lay down. There was nothing on this guy, surprisingly. But this fish looks like he's at a 15 incher. So again, right about that uh, one and a half to two pound range. Uh, kind of been what we've been averaging out here today. So quality fish though. I'm gonna get him back in. Swam off good. There we go. Stay on. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Right as soon as I was trying to pull it over that log. Well, it's about the same size as the others I've been catching today. Still hate to see him go though. Not that big, he's full fight. Got him. Start pulling some drag on me right there. It's probably about another 17 inch or so. I'll get a quick measurement on the fish. Let's see what we got here. Yeah. Ooh. Right at 17 inches long. Took that popper in, get him back in the water, go back and spawn. Kicked off with just as much energy as the hit. Big thunderhead's back over there behind me. Hope I'm not gonna be stuck out here. Oh, we missed it. I have never done that. Really? A crappie on a popper? Well, that's how you know they're hitting good. They're not done spawning yet either. I don't think I've ever heard of anybody catching crappie on topwater baits before. Uh, that fish blew up on it over there and everything. That was crazy. In the mouth. And I mean, it's a male, obviously. It's all black in spawning colors, but. It's not a very big crappie either, and uh, that fish right there just ended up taking a popper. That's crazy. I'm gonna get him back in. Crappie identified as a bass, apparently. Like, I know when they're younger they'll eat bugs, uh, like when they're juveniles a lot of the times, but uh, as they kind of get older, they start to really focus in more and more on uh, minnows and shad if they're in a reservoir, kind of like what we have here at Lake of the Ozarks. So that's very bizarre to see that. What do I got here? A large mouth. Barely hooked in the corner of the mouth, came right out of that brush over there. About another 12 inch or so, I'm gonna get him right back in, keep fishing. Ooh, that was right next to the kayak, that was awesome. Oh, I didn't get a good hook in him at all. Man, might come back to him in a little bit. I could see the bed he was on. There's a couple beds right there too, but they're for bluegill. There we go. Get up here. Sweet. Nice size. He's ready to go back. 
Ooh, got him. <laughs> got soaked on that one. All right. It's another healthy bass out of the lake right there. Hit that popper. Came from right up in here around these rocks. We'll get him back in too. Ooh, scared one. Spooked him off at first. Came back and got it. Our little fish right there. I'm gonna get him right back in. Still cool to catch him on top water. back up there underneath the dock. About another 12 inch right there. That's why I go and uh, use a spinning rod like I do. It's easier for me to skip those poppers up underneath the dock cables. Get back into the walkways where people usually don't target those fish like this. Okay. That was cool. There he is. Nope. Back up here, please. Thank you. Woo! Some slack on that. There we go. <laughs> That's a nice bass right there. Still got eggs. She hadn't dropped hers yet. She came right off a lay down up there. And uh, healthy fish. I'm gonna get her back in pretty soon so she can go back and lay those eggs. But uh, probably close to 17 inches or so. Part ways here. Hey everybody, that's gonna wrap up this episode. If you guys enjoyed this, make sure to leave me a thumbs up down below and drop a comment of what you thought of the video. Um, I do want to hear from you if you've ever caught a crappie on a popper or any other kind of top water. As far as I know, um, that's very, very rare. I don't think that that happens very many places very often. But if you guys enjoyed this, we'll come out and do some more of this fishing again. And uh, if you want to see any of the baits that I use today, the link's in the description below. To all that uh, if you're interested in going and checking some of those out tight lines out there everybody explore deeper there's more out there and we'll catch you guys on the next one